Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Convention with the Weekly Cover Roundup. We're most of the way through the roundup, so let's keep on trucking. Kicking this off with Amazing Spider-Man number 58. Where we left off in Amazing Spider-Man, um... Tombstone was making a, uh, an attempt at, uh, stopping his daughter from turning state's evidence by killing his daughter, Janice. He had, uh, basically had, um, White Rabbit, uh, kind of fake out for, uh, <clears throat> the, um, the law enforcement and superheroic uh, escort for to get Janice out of town. However, it was also Janice was in the uh, police van when, when White Rabbit's goons uh, took it. Um, she Hulk was. However, Spider Man realized that that meant the tombstone was going to to Janice's place. So, issue opens with uh, Tombstone having his uh, daughter at gunpoint. Um, she manages to duck, but she but he uh, shoots the hell out of her uh, apartment. And. Uh, Apparently, uh, she all learns that Spider-Man already left, so, and White Rabbit states that Tombstone wanted it this way, but, uh, Janice puts on some of her, part of her, uh, Beetle get-up, and, uh, in retaliation for that, Tombstone pops an EMP grenade, And, uh, he gets her by the throat, but Spider-Man, uh, kicks in her, uh, ap apartment window and proceeds to beat the hell out of, uh, Tombstone, giving, uh, Janice an opening to escape. But, uh... Janice when it falls uh, onto some trash, and Tombstone uh, chases after her. Spidey, of course, chases after him, but uh, and Spidey manages to catch up with him. Also, uh, Beetle scratches at uh, Father Tombstone's eyes. And Spider-Man makes a point of uh, staying between Tombstone and Janice, only for Tombstone to push him towards a window. And it seems that from the cover of the next issue, they go through. That is where the issue ends. We're definitely getting building towards something big. Uh, got a cap off uh, Zeb Wells' run somehow, right? Moving on, though, to our next book, we've got Chasm, Curse of Cain, number two. Where we left off, um, Cain was losing, er, Chasm was lo losing time, uh, but him and uh, Hallow's Eve were squ basically squatting in, a, in their own place, and, uh, Cain was, uh, the Scarlet Spider, was on his trail. However, uh, 
Druig was plotting to use the uh, Scarlet Spider, or to use Chasm as, as a tool for himself. Oh yeah, and uh, Kane, uh, Scarlet Spider had to deal with uh, a Frankenstein amalgamation of uh, the Freak and Vermin. And he, he's been dealing with, and the issue was with him dealing with, with that. There's also a, a moment between uh, Mole Man and uh, Druig, where Mole Man uh, proceeds to, or where Druig proceeds to insult Mole Man uh, quite a bit, you know, telling why exactly he f continues to fail at his uh, goals of world domination. But uh, Scarlet Spider and and Vermin Freak uh, get out to get out from the hospital, uh, and Scarlet Spider slams an ambulance on uh, Vermin Freak. Um, the morgue workers are uh, let down. And over at uh, Ravencroft, um, Janine scares the crap out of uh, Doppelganger with her with the werewolf mask. And uh, Janine's got an idea to help uh, Ben with his lost time. One of her masks is a psychic mask, as she puts it on. Goes into his, goes into uh, Ben's mind at the morgue. Apparently, Ben has been there, but he was silent. And Kane starts realizing that something's up. Also, the vermin freak has managed to escape from uh, the wreckage of the ambulance. In uh, Ben's mind, he's seeing the, uh, Janine sees the, the remnants of, uh, Peter's memories. Then Druig, uh, manages to push through and, uh, expel her, expel Janine from, uh, Ben's mind. Meanwhile, a bunch of Moloids show up and, uh, kidnap the couple. While uh, Mole Man uh, is hopefully going to get his revenge soon. And that is where the issue ends. Interesting. Groove's involvement is definitely paints things in an interesting light. But, uh, anyways, moving on to our last book for the moment, we've got. Daredevil, Woman Without Fear, number three. Where we left off, um, Daredevil and uh, the new, and the new Punisher had uh, had uh, had a had a bit of a run in in Madripoor. Um, there's a, a casualty, a man caught the crossfire, and apparently her uh, Magia contact. So the issue opens with uh, Daredevil bringing the, uh, her Magia contact to uh, Magia bosses, Silvermane and uh, Count of Fairy. They figure that uh, she, killed, she killed him elsewhere. Um, Daredevil's ward Alice is uh, in her currently uh, under watch, and uh, but she in a, basically held, held prisoner in a comfortable cage. But. Uh, Uh, 
Daredevil tries to explain to uh, Silvermane that she didn't kill uh, Nikki. But uh, he, he doesn't expect, he doesn't, be he doesn't believe that because she's an assassin. It doesn't matter uh, what letters she wears, she'll always be a killer, which is something that rings true with uh, Elektra. But uh, she manages to get some information out of them in exchange for killing the Punisher. But she learns that uh, she tries to figure out who would uh, Punisher would see about uh, his uh, busted armor. Speaking with the power broker. But uh, Power Broker says that uh, Punisher's got basically a, a basically uh, someone in the field to help him out. So she steals a motorcycle and uh, Alice calls uh, Electra. Turns out that Electra, who's gone halfway across the world looking for Alice, well, Alice is still in Hell's Kitchen. And as she learns that, Punisher takes a shot at uh, Electra, uh, destroying the, uh, the bike that she uh, borrowed. And that is where the issue ends. Looks like we're going to be seeing uh, Daredevil vs. Punisher round two next issue. Anyways, that's going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Blue Sky, Instagram, Mastodon, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. Uh, big shout out to a Patreon patron, Red Man is a Penis. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.